people have come and stayed here since before the First World War in ad hoc buildings and shelters. And as time progressed, the, the chalets became more permanent. So, so my chalet here, it's been here since the 1920s. It's still the original building. And this whole concept that the heritage of the chalets is important, and as people move, and move in and, and develop the chalets, is to try and maintain that overall feeling of natural materials, um, and that chalets fit in with the design guide, which is, is put in place really to maintain the heritage of the site. We've been working on, at, on the Humberston Fitties since 2013. We did a big project here in 2016 with another artist, Annabelle McCourt, but now we've come back, we've been working with local, other artists who live locally. When Project Fitties, when Judith and Harriet first came round, it gave a, an opportunity for, for for owners of the chalets here to just share their experiences of living and staying and being down here on this on this heritage chalet park. We wanted to see how poetry and art could work together in exhibition, also in artist books like this. So we make concertina books and you can see that I work as a poet in a very open form way, so sometimes my work is actually sort of dancing around the paintings on the wall in vinyl form. It's about bringing together those really complicated things that make up what the idea of place or landscape is. You can't really have, it's not a view, you have to live in it. You have to, if you're there, you have to talk to people. It can be man-made, it can be environmental, there are social issues which emerge, there are things about climate change which emerge, and it's all, we're looking at this lovely beautiful chalet park and you can use it as a microcosm of much broader issues you know moving forward um, things that have happened in the last sort of 12 months or so is one is that the heritage of the chalets and the environment has been really important and that planning planning and looking really closely at how the chalets are developed just to maintain that uniqueness of the site really so it is a site of special scientific interest um, this area in fact a lot of, of the land around the humber is as i'm sure you know and so you know people have all sorts of different concerns that, that they that they have but really i think people just want to keep the place going it's one of the last remaining plotlands in england so i think it's quite important to From the Fitters Kick point of view, so our aims are about the heritage, the conservation and the community and uh, we're going to build on that this year by, um, and next year by offering more community events where people can find out more about the heritage of the chalets, engage with environmental projects and engage also with Project Fitters on some environmental and poetry and art workshops as well that just connect people to again the importance of this area and particularly with um, sort of a change in, um, in climate and you know the, the climate emergency now to, to help people become more aware of why it's so important about what we do and what the impact of that is.